This video is going to cover left hand position for both violin and viola. So first, we're gonna start without our instrument. So I want you to take a second, whether you're sitting or standing, and I want you to make sure your shoulders, both shoulders are open. When we play our instruments, we should always have good posture first. So I want you to imagine your shoulders should be over your hips and your head is up on top of your body. Next, we're going to take our left arm and bring it out to the side. Okay, so again, when we put our instruments up on our shoulders, we don't want this shoulder to come forward and our instrument's never in front of us, it's actually out to our, our side. So we wanna make sure we have that feeling first of open shoulders. Next, I want you to pretend you have a light bulb in your hand and you're going to, to, your, to the left of yourself, please turn like your hand, like you're turning a light bulb. Notice when you do this, your elbow, wrist, pinky line stays nice and straight. If it's easier for you, you can actually turn your body so that if you're facing and you're doing this along with me, that it's sideways if you feel like you need to do that to see me. It's totally fine. So we have a straight elbow wrist pinky line. Now take your nose and point it towards your hands and I want you to see if you can get one, two, three, four fingers all in one line. Imagine kind of your fingers are on the string. Okay, so if I go this way, you'll notice I have a nice V shape here. All of my fingers are in one line. Okay, now let's pick up our instruments. Make sure you have your shoulder rest on. Remember, if your instrument's upside down, your shoulder rest is making a smiley face. Make sure it's on securely. Okay, we're gonna place our instrument again. Bring your shoulders back, nice and tall. Drop your instrument up onto your shoulder and make sure it's nice and secure. So remember, your instrument is held only ever with your jaw and your shoulder. Your hand doesn't actually hold your instrument, okay? So if you want to use your right hand to hold on to your instrument, if you're feeling a little nervous about it, but it should sit right on, see that curve of your shoulder rest should sit right on the top of your shoulder. Okay, now I'm taking my left hand, doing that same motion, I'm, like I'm turning the light bulb. So my hand is facing away from me or behind me. Thumb goes on the opposite side of the instrument. Notice my thumb is not squeezing or bend. It's nice and relaxed. Again, this hand doesn't hold the violin. You're just kind of gently touching it. Okay, and my thumb is not higher than the fingerboard. So just that side of my thumb right here makes contact. Okay, so again, let's place one, two, three, four fingers on your A string. Notice my thumb is kind of providing some counter balance down here. As I go to my E string, my thumb actually can come up a little higher. When it goes to G, it comes all the way around. So your thumb is not stationary. Your thumb will move around a little bit and that's okay. We want it to be nice and relaxed, okay? So place one, two, three, four fingers either on your D or your A string. And let's check one more time that we have a nice straight line here. Okay, so you can practice going through those steps a few times. Hopefully this is helpful um, and happy practicing.